All right. You are welcome to chemistry class with Anakwe Christopher GK. Uh, today we'll be looking at the topic titled Arcanols. In our previous class, we discussed about aromatic hydrocarbon. Today we'll be looking at arcanols. Arcanols, and it's expected that by the end of this particular class, you should be able to explain what arcanols are. You should be able to state the types and the properties of arcanols. You should be able to state the preparation, preparation method of arcanols, how arcanols can be prepared. And our next one is industrial production of arcanols using ethanol as an example by fermentation. Then lastly, we should be able to state the, uh, or list the uses of arcanols. All right, we'll be taking them one after the other. First one is, what do we mean by arcanols? Arcanols belong to a group of organic compounds, or we say a group of carbon compounds known as alcohol. And the alcohols are those organic compounds which are characterized by the presence of one, two, or three more hydroxy groups, which is OH group, that have been attached to the carbon atoms in an alkene group or hydrocarbon chain. Now, the normal alkene group family we know, when it's been substituted or attached, when OH or hydroxy group is being attached to the alkene group, it forms another family of organic compound which we call alcanol or alcohol family. An alkene family, normal hydrocarbon chain, that has OH group, substituted to a functional group, OH group, being attached, substituted to that particular family, automatically change the particular homologous series it takes, which is a arcanol. Arcanol has OH one, it could be one, it could be two, it could be three, OH being attached in a hydrocarbon compound. That is what we mean by arcanol as a family. All right, the structure of an arcanol is as same as that of the parent akins, except that an OH functional group has been substituted for one of the hydrocarbon hydrogen atoms. When one of the hydrogen atom is being displaced, is being replaced by OH group, it turns to an arcanol as a family or as a homologous series. That is what we mean. And they have the general formula, molecular formula as CN, H2N plus one. Instead of plus two of their king, it will now be plus one OH, OH. That means the second H is being replaced by OH. This is, this, this is sometimes written as R OH. R is now their key group stands for a K group. So when you see R or H, it stands for a, an arcanol group. It could be a, a methyl being attached to it. Stand, the, the R could be methyl, could be ethyl, could be propyl, could be butyl, could be anything, but it's an a K group being attached to a hydroxy group. That is it for what arcanol X. Now in arcanol, we, have the members as this. The way we have methane, what we have now is methanol. The way we have ethane, what we have now is ethanol. The way we have propane, we have propanol, butanol, pentanol, hexanol, heptanol, octanol, nonanol, and uh, decanol. So just like that, that of the parent akings, we have this only that it will end with all. We remove the E, the last E of the akin group and put OL, which is all methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, and all of that. So with that, you can list other members of the akin with their formula being stipulated, molecular formula. You just remove the last H. Instead of uh, methane, now instead of CH4, you write CH3, then remove one OH will be replaced by OH. All right, that is the membership of Arcane, uh, arcanol group, membership of arcanols. Um, arcanol can be classified into three 
uh, monohydric acanals, dihydric acanals, and trihydrics. Now, it's been classified into three based on the number of OH present in a particular structure. When a particular structure of an acanal of a, a, hydrocar a hydrocarbon compound contains two, uh, three OH group, we call it trihydric. These are alkanes with three OH group per molecule. One molecule of a, a carbon compound contains three OH group. We call it trihydric. Tri is three. And the example is propan one, two, three, tri or. When it contains two OH per molecule, we call it dihydric. That is two. Mono is one. And the example of that dihydric is ethen one, two, diol. Then monohydric, we have, it could be uh, ethanol, it could be methanol, it could be propanol, it could be butanol, all the normal uh, uh, acanol group, uh, they are the monohydric acanols because they contain one uh, OH group per molecules. So these are the classification based on the number of hydroxy group that is being attached in the carbon atoms. Now we can also state it or the types, we we'll call it types of acanol. Acanols can be classified in terms of a uh, number of acyl group, number of uh, the position of the acyl group uh, substituted to the OH. So types of acyl uh, acanol, we have three. We also have three types of acanol. The way we have three types of uh, three classification, we also have three types of acanol, primary acanol, secondary acanol and tertiary acanol. Now, let's take this as an example, as a, as a sample. When the, acan the OH, which is the functional group of acanol family, is the OH that, give, that gives the unique property of the acanol. Now, when that OH is being substituted, it's been attached only with one acyl group, we call it primary acanol. Example, ethanol, uh, all the normal acane, uh, acanol family, they are the primary acanols. When we have uh, acanol, the OH group, the functional group being substituted at the middle, that means the acyl group, acyl groups are being found in the two sides of the hydroxy group, we call it secondary acanols. Example, butan 2O, propan 2O, heptan 2O, and the, all of that. Now, we call it secondary acanol. Now, when we have the OH group being at the, it has three acyl groups being attached to the OH group, we call it secondary acanol. So in such a case, we, we call it secondary acanol. So we will still take them one after the other and discuss more on them. Uh, primary acanol, as we can, uh, we can, it can be also be represented by one degree, one zero. We, okay, we call it one zero. Why? That it shows primary acanol, number one, first one. They have only one acyl group attached to the carbon atoms that carries the hydroxy group, that carries the hydroxy group the ethanol, the butan 1 or the 2 methyl proper 1 or all of these, as you look at them, you know that the particular carbon atom that carries the OH is, it, it has only a K1, a K group. It's not at the middle, neither does it have a K group being in the two sides. So that is it for the primary acanol when it has only one a K group attached to the carbon atoms that carry the hydroxy group. Now, secondary acanol, what is it? Secondary acanols can be represented by two zero degree on top of it. Um, that is secondary whenever you see that. They have two, two acyl groups. Two acyl, two acyl, acyls attached to the carbon atom that carries the hydroxy group. All these things I've explained them before. Now, example we have, I have talked about it. Propan 2 or butan 2 or pentan 3 or we have them, and uh, even pentan 2 or is also still an example 
has and two or has and three or penta penta three or here we have it so when you when you look at it you know that that particular hydro carbon atom that carries the hydroxyl group by the right side it has an alkyl by the left side it has an alkyl we call it secondary alkanol now lastly we have the tertiary alkanols they have th three alkyl groups attached to the carbon atom that carries the hydroxyl group when we look at this one we are going to see two methyl propan two or two methyl propan two or from both the opposite side and it by the two side of the carbon atom that carries the the oh group it has methyl 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 or alkyl 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 the same thing goes with two two methyl butan two or it's also a tertiary alkanols it's also a tertiary alkanol so all right that is for three types of alkanol we have all right, let's look at their physical properties. Alkanol has unique physical properties because of the OH that is being attached to it. Number one is their boiling point. Boiling point is generally very high as compared to the normal arcane family, normal um, number of uh, carbon atom it contains and when you compare it with their counterpart in terms of um, arcanes. This is due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bond between the hydrogen group of the alkanol molecules. So the presence of OH group, the, uh, the, the hydrogen bond that exists in alkanols or alcohol, it gives them, it gives them a high boiling point. So it makes them to have high boiling point. So that's number one. It, another one is the solubility of alkanols or alcohols. They have high solubility in water. They are highly soluble in water. Because of what, once again, OH group. Because of the OH group, which is the hydroxyl group, the hydrogen bonds are formed between the water and the alkanol molecules, which makes them very soluble in water. It makes them very, very soluble in water. Ah, very, very, in every proportion. It's very, very soluble in every proportion. Then third one is that the acidity of alkanol because of the OH also a, the, the acidic nature of the alkanol is due to the polarity of the OH bond. Primary alcohol alcohols are governed are generally more acidic than the secondary and tertiary of course. So it's acidic but is that of more of the the primary alcohols that does that. Then the next one is the chemical properties. What are the chemical behaviors of alkanol number one is combustion of course combustion has to do with when it burns in air when alkanols burns in air alkanols when they burn in air they are they will produce carbon four oxide and water so alkanol undergoes combustion reaction uh, to form carbon four oxide and water water but this kind of water is steam which is gaseous water water in gaseous form so Number two is esterification reaction. This is when alkanol reacts with alkanoic acid to produce ester and water. This particular reaction is a reversible reaction, which is being catalyzed by H2SO4 as, an, as, as the catalyst there. Ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid in the presence of a catalyst, H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4 it will, will reversibly form a tilethanoate which is ester and water it will form et, uh, ester and the water now the backward reaction is called hydrolysis of ester when you hydrolyze ester it will form once again ethanol and ethanoic acid so still remember it's a reversible reaction very very important Esterification, that is the second reaction. First one is combustion reaction. Second, number two, esterification reaction is very, very important, is unique about this particular family. Then the next one is oxidation. In terms of oxidation, it's also very, very important because primary alcohol, alcohols 
uh, Akano, they undergo oxidation reaction. Secondary Akano, they also undergo, but tertiary Akano does not undergo at all. When secondary, uh, 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 secondary Akano that undergoes the form ketone, and it will not further oxidize again into carboxylic. But primary alcohol undergoes oxidation to aldehyde, from that aldehyde even further to carboxylic acid. But in terms of tertiary alcohol, it does not undergo oxidation reaction. This is a powerful part of alcohol, the oxidation reaction. Primary alcohol and secondary does that, do that, but tertiary does not undergo at all. What complete oxidation is being done by the primary alcohol. He undergoes oxidation in two phases. All right, that is it. We now have dehydration of alcohol. This is the fourth one. Number one, combustion reaction. Number two, esterification. Number three, oxidation reaction. Number four, dehydration. When alcohols uh, uh, ethanol, ethanol, as an example, is being dehydrated, a tin will be formed. The removal of water, dehydration has to do with removal of water. When water is being removed from the molecule of ethanol or alcohol, a key will be formed. So using ethanol as an example, in the presence of a catalyst or uh, dehydration agent, which is a H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4, a tin will be formed and then know that water has been removed from it. So it undergoes dehydration, dehydration. These are the four types of chemical properties or behaviors of alkanols that we have discussed now. All right, now in terms of industrial production of alkanols, using ethanol, the most important of the family, as an example, by fermentation. Of course, what is fermentation? Fermentation is just a slow decomposition of a, 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 a giant molecule, large organic molecule, by microorganism into smaller molecules. A giant molecule, a large organic molecules being decomposed by microorganism into smaller molecules. Example, we have when glucose is being decomposed, ethanol and carbon dioxide will be formed in the presence of an enzyme, the presence of yeast. Now, that is the, the equation for the fermentation of ethanol, ethanol. However, fractional distillation of the ethanol obtained by fermentation is carried out for further concentration and purification when it's been gotten in order to purify the ethanol and make it concentrated. Fractional distillation will be used. All right, what are the uses of ethanols? Ethanols are very useful as important solvents to dissolve perfume, drugs, flavor, flavoring, to in flavoring things and others. It is it's an important solvent. It's an important organic solvent. And we also use it as fuel, either by itself or when it's being mixed with, with petrol. It's an important solvent. It's an important fuel. And also number three is, is being used as anti-freeze anti -freeze in automobile radiators. It is being used as anti-freeze in anti automobile radiators. Number two, we said it's being used as fuel, either by itself or when it's been mixed. Number one, we say it's an important solvent to dissolve some things I perfume, drugs, and etc. Then uh, we use alcohol, we use them in alcohol beverages. We use them in alcohol beverages like uh, brandy. It's very, very important, and that is the end of today's class. But before we go, you are going to take this as an, uh, the summary of the, what we have done, that alcohol 
alkanols belong to a group of organic compounds known as alcohols. That alcohols are those organic compounds which are characterized by, a, by the presence of one, two, or more hydroxyl groups that have been attached to a carbon atoms in a key group or hydrogen hydrocarbon chain. They are for general molecular formula still remains CNH2N plus one or H. Then they can be classified into monohydric, alkan alkanols, dihydric, and uh, trihydric. And uh, depends on the number of uh, hydroxyl groups that are being in that particular structure. They can also be classed, uh, they, we have three types, and the three types are the primary alkanol, alcohol, secondary, and tertiary. Thank you very much. We are going to do this one as your own exercise. When you take this, is wire questions, previous wire questions, wire questions 2009, number four. Says state the types of reaction illustrated by the following equation. When you look at this, ethanol, ethanoic acid uh, in the presence of a catalyst, ethyl ethanoate, and water. We are expected to state the, the type, the name of this particular reaction illustrated here. Wyeck 2009, number four. Then, next second question says, write the chemical equation to illustrate the oxidation of A, a secondary alkanol, B, a dihydric alkanol, Wyeck 1988. Then, number three says, name the products formed from the reaction between ethanol and sodium metal. That is Wyeck 2000. Number one question. All right, for further discussion and inquiries, you can get me through my phone line 080 655 73229. 080 or use the, the my country code plus 234 8055 7329. Or 080 655 Or you can get me through my email at at crystal112 at gmail.com. At crystal112 at gmail.com. Thank you for being part of this particular class and uh, meet you in the next video. Thank you.